class. I'm by name teacher Odike Sunday Victor. So today we shall be talking about something very, very interesting, and that is lines, cardinal points, and turns made by angles. Lines, cardinal points, and turns made by angles. Hello angels, has anyone seen something of this nature anywhere before? Okay, good. So we shall, by the end of the class, get to know what exactly this symbol or this sign here stands for. So, lines. A line is the shortest distance between two points. The shortest distance between two points is referred to as a line. What did I say is a line? A line is the shortest distance between two points. And lines can be classified as one vertical lines so we can classify lines as one vertical lines then a vertical line is a line that points up it is at a right angle to a horizontal line so a vertical line is a line that points up good this is an example of a vertical line vertical line points up so it means when you stand straight you are standing vertically so when you are standing straight you are standing vertically so a vertical line is a line that points up so all human beings standing are said to be standing in a vertical position then the second class of line is the horizontal line. Horizontal line goes along the ground. Horizontal line goes along the ground. Then you must know that vertical line is at right angle to the horizontal. Now look at the horizontal line. It's moving straight along the ground. Then a vertical line is always at right angle to the horizontal line. This is what I mean. This is a vertical line. Then you see this is a horizontal line. And this is a right angle triangle being formed at this very spot. So we say that a vertical line and a horizontal line make a right angle triangle here. So they are both at right angle to each other. Good. Parallel lines. This is the third class. Remember, I say we have um, vertical lines, horizontal lines. Then the third one is parallel lines. What are parallel lines? Two lines are said to be parallel if they can never meet and maintain the same distance apart. Two lines are said to be parallel lines if they can never meet and as such maintain the same distance assuming this is line a and this is line b no matter how line a moves it can never come in contact to line b because they maintain the same distance so if you like draw line a from here to this place and then line b from here to this place they will never meet each other this is also another example of parallel lines so parallel lines are two lines that can never meet each other and they maintain the same distance apart. Good. Let us quickly look at cardinal points and terms made by angles. Cardinal points. Remember earlier on I, I asked you what that diagram is. It looks like this. We have the N, S, W, and E. So, there are four major cardinal points and cardinal point is all about direction 
there are four major cardinal points. In other words, there are four major directions. And these directions are north, south, east, and west. What are the four major cardinal points again? North, south, east, and west. So, a compass is used to find these directions. We use a compass to find direction. Then the compass has a vertical and horizontal lines. I believe you still remember what vertical and horizontal lines are. So, we use a compass to find direction. And a compass has both vertical and horizontal lines. Now, this is what we have here, a compass. This is the vertical line and this is the horizontal line. The vertical line at the top is labeled as the north. This is the north direction. Then directly opposite it, we have south, the south direction. So this is north, this is south. Then to the right, we have the east, and then to the left, we have west. So these are the four major cardinal points or the four major direction and they are north, south, east, west. Then it might interest you to know that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. So for you to find out direction on your own, when you wake up early in the morning, as the sun is rising, quickly run out and face the direction of the, the direction of the sun. So the very direction where the sun is coming out from, or the sun is rising from, is the east. I think it again. Whenever you wake up in the morning and see the sun rising, that direction the sun is rising from is regarded as east, or is called east or eastern direction. And in the evening, when the sun is setting, watch the direction of the sunset, the direction the sun is setting towards. That direction is referred to as west. So in other words, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. So the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. Activity. Stand to face the sun in the morning as it rises and stretch out your arms and note your observation. Okay, this is what you are expected to observe. You face the east. The direction where you face, where the sun is rising from in the morning is called the east. Then behind you or the back is the west. If you face the direction of the sun, where the sun rises from, then your back is now the west. So your back is the west. And to your right, sorry, to your left is the north. To your left is the north while your right is the south. So when you face the direction of the sun in the morning, it means you are facing east. Then behind you is the west. Then your left hand direction is the north, while your right hand direction is the south. These are the four major cardinal points. Now this is the sun. We are assuming the sun is rising in the morning and this is the cardinal point. So we want to indicate the cardinal points on this very arrow here. Okay, now this is east because that is where the sun is rising from. Look at the sun rising from the east. So this is east and behind you like we said earlier on is the west. Behind you is the west. We are assuming that you are standing facing the east, facing the sun rather, and then your two hands stretch. So when if you face the sun in the morning, that is east. Then behind you is the west. 
then your left is the knot this is the knot here your left hand direction while your right is the south and this is how you can determine cardinal point should you go to a place and discover you are lost you could use this to find your way out good let us quickly look at turns made by angles turns made by angles now we have a circle here and this circle has been labeled north south east and west so this is our cardinal point this is the north this is the south this is the east and this is the west now this arrow is pointing towards this direction we want to find out something then you see we have an arrow here this arrow has moved from north to east now if you watch your work clock at home it always moves in this direction of the arrow so we call it clockwise direction we call it what clockwise direction so when we want to determine the turns made by angles we start from the north and move eastward when we start from the north and move in eastern direction we call it clockwise direction when we start from the north and move to the east we call it clockwise direction when you move from the north towards east is called clockwise direction so east is a quarter turn from the north in a clockwise direction that is direction of the clock so from this place to this place is a quarter from this place to this point that is from the north to east we have already moved a quarter then west is a quarter turn from the north anti-clockwise direction that is when you move this way this is the north south east and west then this is our arrow pointing north then this is another arrow pointing west now let us see where the third arrow will point see when you move from the north to the west that it is said to have, you are said to have moved in an anti-clockwise direction whereas when you move from north to east you move in clockwise direction but if you move from north to west you move in anti-clockwise direction these two things you must put them in your mind because you'll be asked to move in a clockwise direction and also in anti-clockwise direction so in clockwise direction you have to move from north to where to east what of anti-clockwise direction you have to move from north to west let us quickly look at some examples here indicate the direction of the arrow after turning the given angle one all over four that is a quarter turn in clockwise direction a quarter turn in clockwise direction so the first thing you do is to draw the cardinal point when you draw the cardinal point the next thing you do now is what you move in clockwise direction because the question says one all over four turn in a clockwise direction so the first way we should draw the cardinal point so let's quickly draw the cardinal point we have our north we have south we have west and east now we are to move a quarter so this is north when you move from the north in a, a quarter from north to east now we are asked to move in a clockwise direction so when we move from north to east that is a quarter and that is in a clockwise direction so we have actually moved in a clockwise direction number two indicate the direction of the arrow after turning three all over four in otherwise three quarter in anti-clockwise direction so solution since it is in anti-clockwise direction we move from north to west so let's draw the cardinal point. We have the north, 
the south, the west, and the east. Now remember we have to move three all over four in anti-clockwise. So we have to start from the north and move three down. So move one, two, three. Now our arrow will point east. Because we are asked to move three times, starting from north. Since it is in an anti-clockwise direction, you move from north towards west. So this is north. One, two, three. Because we are asked to move three all over four. And the last place is what? East. So the direction is going to be what? East. The direction is east because the turn is in anti-clockwise direction. Good. This is now your assignment. You are to indicate the direction of the arrow after turning the given angle. The fourth is two all over four turn in clockwise direction and three all over four turn in clockwise direction. Thank you very much for paying attention. I'll be looking forward to receiving your assignment. God bless you and continue to see things.